So if you've been keeping up with my content, you would have seen that I'm kind of like loving jeans at the moment, like I'm wearing them quite a lot. So I thought I'd show you like my top five jeans that I'm wearing and also like brands that I like to get my jeans from. So first up, we have this pair from Cox. Absolutely love these. At one point, I was almost close to getting rid of them. So glad I didn't because I realized the way I love to style them is kind of just like this in a nice, just played down casual way. Like I'll never dress this pair up. And because they are wide, they're also quite lightweight. They're kind of like perfect for the warmer days of spring as well. Now, one thing I've experienced with Cox, especially in their jeans, is that they tend to run quite big. So if you can, definitely go in store and try them on first. Or if you order them online, potentially look at ordering two sizes. One a bit smaller than you need to go for, and then the other is your true to size pair. So next, going in kind of like a completely different direction, we have this pair, which is from Dries Van Northen. This beautiful indigo pair. It's a straight leg jean, and I absolutely love, love the fit of these. Most of the time, I try and go for straight leg jeans that are, let's say, from Levi's and stuff. They're just too tight on my thigh or something about the waist ratio. I haven't been able to find like a solid pair from Levi's yet. The other great thing about these, I was able to get them 50% off. And what I've found with like most designer jeans is that when they go on sale, it is a dramatic sale. So definitely do keep an eye out for those. So next we have a pair that you've seen me in quite a bit. These are the Acne Studio bootcut jeans. I think the name of this one is like the 2021 model. I think that's just the name. I think you still can get them. It might be 2022 model now, but from what I'm aware, they're pretty much the same fit. I find bootcut jeans are great in between straight leg and then flared jeans. You've seen me try flared jeans in the past. I thought I could stick to it. It turns out I kind of couldn't, but these, I wear them so much, perfect in between for me. One of my favorite, favorite fit of jeans. These are the R Legacy third cut jeans. Absolutely love these, especially in this wash. I've been wearing these ones a ton. My experience with third cut jeans is that they're not all the same. Some are like different lengths and things like that. So like, obviously after I got this pair, I was kind of like hooked. So I wanted to kind of look at a few others and every other pair pretty much that I've tried afterwards have all just been different lengths and kind of fit me different. So do keep that in mind. What I personally like about these, it is still that like straight leg. However, they're a little bit more on the relaxed side and that's what I personally love about these. Now these are kind of pretty much the same as the pair I just showed you before. Slight difference. These are the Eye Legacy Extended third cut jeans and I love these. When I tell you, I've been searching for over a year for like a light denim pair of jeans like these. And the reason I never tried these is because for some reason in the name extended, the I Legacy extended jeans, I always thought they were just in like way longer than the third cut pair. Where from what I'm aware, the only difference is the detailing within the knees here. Other than that, the fit is the same. And these ones fit so similar to that pair you just saw before. And I absolutely love them. I love them with black boots, literally styled like this. This is like, at the moment, one of my favorite outfits. Now, two other places I do recommend for jeans. Obviously, Levi's is kind of like, everybody mentions Levi's. I personally haven't had luck with Levi's. The other two that I do really rate is Diesel. I have a great pair of Diesel jeans. I'm not actually sure why I didn't show them, but Diesel and they go on sale so much. Like I, my pair was I think 75 pounds and they normally float around maybe like a 140 mark. And then Arkit as well. Arkit offer like a range of like straight and then relaxed jeans as well.
So I want to take a moment to thank our sponsors for today's video, which is Asus. So this right here is the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED. It's powered by a 13th generation Intel Core i9 processor. So this powerful and sleek computer was designed with two things in mind sustainability and portability. The plasma ceramic aluminium lid has a high quality matte finish made with a new manufacturing process which is unique to Asus which allows the lid to be 100% recyclable. The compact ZenBook is incredibly thin sitting at only 16.9 millimeters and also incredibly lightweight coming in at only 1.5 kilograms and also it has a 180 degree flat lay hinge. The ZenBook has stunning visuals, incredible true to life tone which are also Pantone validated. The colors displayed are richer and more vivid than your standard LCD screen, and this is because of the cinema grade best in class color gamut. The ZenBook has the fastest response time, sitting at 0.2 milliseconds, which pretty much means blur free action scenes in movies, keeping the visuals ultra smooth. So it's thin, it's light, and it's fast, but it's also tough. It's been tested to a military grade durability standard, which includes a drop test, shock test, temperature test and more. So if you want to learn more about the Asus ZenBook or you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, you can go to the link in the description box down below. So it is finally starting to become really good weather here in London. Like that kind of like perfect, kind of at that perfect temperature between like 22 and 26 degrees. So me and the missus decided that we're gonna go and try enjoy some of these rays uh, while we can. Yeah, just kind of like relax and chill out for a bit and just have a little bit of a a peaceful a peaceful Sunday. So that is today's fit. Yes, I am wearing short finally. Going for a little bit of that kind of like preppy, kind of sporty look today. The footwear, we've got the Wales Bonner, and then we have the DS Essential shorts, then also the DS Box Fit cropped t shirts. And then I've got mainly as an accessory, I need to tie it a little bit better, but it is the row. Knit. And it's just a nice little bit of interest to the outfit without like overheating me. So kind of just sticking to that white cream and navy thing today. So yeah, I think it's going to be a good day. This doesn't happen too often at all. I have been gifted a few items here, and the reason this doesn't happen often at all is I really try to avoid accepting items that I personally just wouldn't get for myself, because otherwise that's just completely wasteful and pointless. But these three here are pretty damn sick, and we're gonna start off with the bro, Ray, his brand, Ore NYC.
you've seen me style their boots before. Ray is always kind enough to bless these to me. And honestly, the hands down most comfortable pair of shoes I have ever owned, whether it's the doobies or the boots. I'm not just saying that because he's my mate. Get them yourself, try them on, whatever. Hands down most comfortable pair. I have seen photos, but these are insane. These are the doobies. I've got these in the black color and he came out with this stunning, stunning green. I hope the camera is picking that up. I'll also show B-roll on foot to give you an idea. And when I saw him post these, I was like, wow, those are so nice. So I don't have any pair of shoes that come near this. And these are stunning. What I like about these doobies, whether you get them in black or green, is that they can be worn so casually with jeans, but then you can also just dress them up with some pleated trousers. And to me, that just makes a very great versatile pair of shoes. So next up, we have a pair of Adidas Sambas, which are kindly from uh, Emily, which is uh, the owner of Sporty and Rich. Now, before we get into these, I think that's insane for what she has done. Being someone who is kind of, you know, like a, uh, an influencer, a creator, whatever, to then being able to create a brand that has become so popular and has now been able to, you know, team up a collaboration with Adidas, which is obviously one of the biggest brands in the world. That alone is just absolutely insane. Like when you actually break that down, that's insane. So they had a few different color options. I thought this pair was gonna be the most kind of like versatile for me. It's not the most out there pair, but again, I wanted something that I could wear a lot, and that is these here. So we have the navy stripes and the navy detail with the white and then the kind of like cream slash off-white suede on the front. Now what I didn't know is that they also did some clothing with Adidas as well, which is crazy. They sent me an extra large? I'm definitely not an extra large. Unless it's because it's like unisex. That could be what it is actually. Okay, by looking at this, I may have needed something bigger than extra large. I might see how this fits on my messes. Uh, it is really nice, but as you, I'll put it on. I will put it on. Uh, this might be too small. They've sent another one as well. It's extra large as well. Yeah, it's extra large. This reminds me of when I first started playing rugby, like the kit that I would wear. I'm gonna put these on. Who knows, they might fit. Otherwise, I think my missus will love these. The colors and everything, beautiful. And then that brings us on to this final pair. Now this is the Wales Bonner uh, the Silver Surfer Sambas. These are insane. I don't even know, by the way, if they're called the Silver Surfer. That's just the name I've seen floating around. Now it's stuck in me because obviously silver. I love these. However, I'm gonna be 100% transparent. I know with this shoe, I'm gonna win, and I could be wrong by the way, but I'm gonna enjoy it for now, but I don't see it as a forever shoe. If you compare it to this pair here by Sporty and Rich, you, this is absolutely timeless as hell. This is a lot more eye-catching. So like, I'll probably wear these a lot now, and then they'll kind of become like a every now and then shoe, where this will be definitely kind of like an everyday beater for me. So I'm in Milan with Lexus, which is quite mind-blowing. I'm literally only here for two nights, and I just thought I'd try bring you along as much as possible. We're in the hotel now. Uh, it's a very nice, very, very nice hotel. And yeah, let's just you know, spend a little bit of time in Milan.
Thank you.